There's okay. something that they're trying to do with by looking at Romero and obviously by looking at Delict. They are looking for centre backs, so this is a, I a problem. I can't see Delict being right for this team. Do you? Why not? What do you see that's missing? All right. Well, first of all, I don't think for all the criticisms we have of Bonucci, and obviously he's older now. I think Bonucci's quick. Mm -hmm. You know. And you don't think Delict is? No, I don't. He caught up to Bernadeschi pretty well. I'm um, Bernadeschi running with the ball versus Delict without the ball. Yeah, sure. He's got the long legs and over space he can he can catch him. I don't think I think Delict is very good on the ball and I think he's he's still filling out because he's still 19 if mm. I'm not mistaken. Mm. I just don't know that if you don't have that and what I like about him, I remember when he made his debut for Holland. He's 16 years old. He made a colossal blunder early on, and yet he still kept going and, and actually played reasonably well after that. I'm just not sure he's the right. I'm not, I think the league would, would make a wonderful center back at Juve alongside somebody with, with different qualities. I don't think he's a Bonucci substitute. I think people will assume that he might be because of his passing ability, but I don't think he's that, and I don't think he's also. Chiellini? He's not a great partner for Bonucci either because he can't do what Chiellini does. He doesn't have, you know, Chiellini's, Chiellini's physicality. Yeah. I mean, he's a potentially a strong kid. He's a strong kid, yeah. But he can hold his own. He's still working into his body. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not sure he'd be he'd be a great match. But but can who would you be able to see that would be a better match? You mean like what central? I defender? mean, say you had all the money in the world and you can bring any central defender you like. To replace Bonucci or yeah, to Chiellini? To, or to have as a centre back. Oh yeah, I mean, then you, I mean, if you have all the money in the world, then you're sure, I'll take Koulibaly or Van Dijk or the usual So you think they should go for somebody Emmerich like Laporte. that? Yeah, no, but they shouldn't because they're not going to get them. Mm. I mean, presumably they could get Koulibaly if they get nasty and mean and stuff. They're obviously not going to get Van Dijk or, or Laporte. But you think Laporte is better than Delict? Yeah, I think he's considerably better than, than, than Delict. Considerably? Now, we're talking about 19-year-old Delict. You know, 19-year-old Laporte, who was also highly touted, mm. I think Delict is better. I think Delict is more mature, but I think Laporte but is... We're talking about a player who's playing in an offensive team surrounded by players who aren't even defenders, whereas Laporte was surrounded by a team that was organized... Surrounded by Fabian Delph and... No, I'm not talking about Man City. Oh. I'm talking about when he was younger and he was Athletic Bilbao. Yeah. You know, he, was, he had an organization in place. It was and that's why he wasn't capped for so long, because people had doubts about whether he was good. He was somebody who divided... Yeah, no, uh, the uh, is uh, ahead of Laporte. I mean, this is you know, yeah. this is sort of always the point with with young players of any sort. But you know, we could certainly say with centre backs. I mean, everyone was was raving about Ranocchia yeah, and and Inter went out and spent good money on him and regretted it. And it's always the the risky run. You you don't know 100 percent how someone's going to develop, and that's a gamble you take. I do think while this is definitely an interesting conversation, we probably should talk about Ronaldo a little <laughs> bit, like and the fact that he showed up and and and. I was about to say one. Of course, they didn't win. They draw, but it was was the decisive factor again for Juventus in the Champions League game. It wasn't just the fact that he scored the goal. I thought um, when you go back to him getting the ball from Bentancur at the start of the move, nice ball from Bentancur. But actually, Ronaldo is immediately pressed, and it's such a smart ball out to Cancelo. Like it's such a like quick thinking, immediate pass and spin off the shoulder of the defender to get behind him. Like it's it's just you know. It's the, the one area that Ajax are very fragile in. All mm. those diagonal crosses forward and I just didn't understand why they didn't do more of that so while I'm it's just the, the, the switch of movement Ronaldo's running into that space you know Dilich didn't know where he was supposed to be who he was supposed to be on what bothered me it's because we know what their weaknesses are we you know and I just didn't understand why you would choose to start with Manzukic. Yeah, and I and I agree with you about Manzukic, and I think that the Allegri made a few questionable decisions in this and I think we've talked about it before the idea that Allegri, especially in these first legs of European ties, he does seem to go into this sort of safety mode yeah. where it's like, let's go with the responsible choices. What's the responsible choices? <laughs> well, Mandzukic is like, you know, he's your grown up choice, right? You know, he's he's going to be an adult and and do it and do his you know hard working shift. And, and, he, and he did. He put in a hard working shift. It just wasn't the shift that the Juventus needed. I think you're right. Given that Juventus actually seemed quite happy i thought to let ix have the ball they were like okay you know have it we'll sit in our in our banks and we'll of four and, and, and we'll counter attack you if you're going to play on the counter He's yeah not the guy. well i mean you know the guy who i would have loved to see on the pitch at some point didn't get on is moise ken but even that's if you're original. not going to go with that hmm? that's original what is the moise ken yeah well, i'm not saying it's original but no no no. i'm thinking everybody would have. yeah and then it's, and you're, i mean no I'm, I'm saying would you have you chosen him it. too yeah yeah, I he mean, he scored five goals in his last five games. But like, yeah. it's, it's, it's he's not the guy just, who moves a lot, you know. Yeah. It's not just—I mean, I wouldn't have 
plate on the counter. I mean, or, or like you said, or you go with Mandzukic and you say, you know what? We're going to get right up at them. Hmm. Because, let's face it, the, the IX front three, apart from Neres, I mean, the other two guys, and even Van den Beek, you know, I'm not saying he's slow and he moves very well and whatever, but this isn't exactly, you know, a roadrunner uh, a roadrunner front line. No. And also, Ajax are not a team that's used to playing on the counterattack at all mm. because when they play domestically, they have 60%, 70% possession. So I actually thought, you know, maybe this is where Allegri surprises us and goes a little more in the offensive, does not be conservative. I should have known better yeah. that yeah, Paolo's I right. I don't, like, if I'm playing an Eric Ten Hag or a Pep Guardiola si side, which th he was basically his inspiration in life, you're always going to think that, that all they want to do is control the ball. So what is the thing that's going to hurt them? Physicality, you think, and pace. That's how I would have assumed. And I'm knowing... So, I mean, for me, when Allegri makes his decisions, I'm always trying to step in his in boots and try and understand what it is that he's thinking. He's thinking they're really bad on the diagonal crosses. If we're getting crosses, who's really good at near post? Mandzukic, mm. right? But if you are playing counter-attacking football, then you think to yourself, I need a more mo mobile guy. And I know this from 2016, we played Bayern Munich, and Morata was the guy over Mandzukic. So let's go for Moise Ken. But what I've noticed about Ken is he's a guy who is much better with the ball to his feet. You know, so he would have been good on the counterattacks, but would he have exploited that, you know, yeah. the crosses? But then you have Ronaldo. So it's all this, there's always a reason behind it. What I didn't like about all of this is the decision to choose Douglas Costa to come on as your first That's substitute. That's a really left field choice for me. I didn't get it. Like, and he was highly praised by everyone. Well, he needs, look, on. I mean, he needs to score the game's winning goal. And, and if, if that goes, you know, three inches to the left and goes in instead of coming back off the post, then it's an inspired substitution and, and Allegri wins the day. But it's just like, it was, I don't and know. they win 2-1 right? just like Real Madrid won 2-1 well, the last yeah. round. Fat line. <laughs> yeah. 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 Them there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's, a, it's a good thing that they didn't win that match so they stay on their toes. It crossed my mind that, you know, by the way, that, you know, this is a by the by, but it crossed my mind like a Juventus may be better off not winning this game. <laughs> Go back at 1-1 one, one and think, all right, well, we still have to win. You know, yeah, I mean, they don't do actually. Something. They could draw 0-0. But yeah, like the mindset might be different.